In this equation, we have FeCl3 plus AgNO3. And they're going to combine in a double displacement reaction. So let's add the atoms up on each side. We have one iron, three chlorines, one silver. And then because I have a nitrate ion here, and then I have some nitrate ions over here, I'm just going to count those as one item. And that'll make balancing a lot easier. So I just have NO3 here. I have one of those. On the product side, I have one iron, one chlorine, one silver, and then three of these nitrate ions, NO3. So I have three of those right there. That way I don't have to have a bunch of oxygens and nitrogens. It's just three NO3s. Makes it a lot easier. Let's see. Why don't we fix the chlorines first? Because we could put a three in front of the AgCl. That would mean we'd have one times three. That would give us three Ags. But it would fix our chlorines because we have one times three here. That would give us three chlorines. Hmm. If we put a coefficient of 3 in front of the silver nitrate, AgNO3, that would fix the silvers. 1 times 3, that gives us 3 silver atoms. And we have 1 nitrate here times 3. That gives us 3 nitrates. And we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FeCl3 plus AgNO3. That's iron 3 chloride and silver nitrate. And thanks for watching.